Hi everyone, my name is Sharon. So God is saying that there's some of you, there's certain places that you even dread going to because you know that you are going to come back crying. You know that you are not going to enjoy yourselves in those places because of the people that are there. I remember when I was still in preschool, I wouldn't even go out during break time because I was being bullied. There was someone who had promised to beat me, to hit me. So I was not comfortable in that place. I would dread going to school. I was not really enjoying because of such experiences. That is why here, when you look in the book of 1 Samuel chapter 1, verse 7, the Bible says, this went on year after year. Whenever Hannah went up to the house of the Lord, her rival, provoked her till she wept and would not eat so hannah did not have children while penina had children and the bible says that her husband loved her and would give her a double portion but every time penina would provoke her because she does not have any children god had closed up her womb so you could see here the word says that this went on year after year i believe that now every time when it was time for the sacrifice hannah knew that she would be reminded of her leg she would be reminded of the things that she don't have she would be crying again her rival would provoke her but on this particular year it was the last time it happened it was the last time she cried such tears so god is also saying in your life you might be going you might be dreading going to certain environments going to certain places but god is saying that these are the last tears that you are shedding because now your answer is coming now your enemy won't be able to provoke you over that situation again because God is finally giving you your own in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.